All right, let's get motivated to run. Hi there, Coach Sage Candy here with another training talk. Today we're gonna to talk about workouts transitioning up from the 5K in distance to a half marathon. But first, I wanna talk about getting some motivation out for your run, and full disclosure, this video is sponsored by Jaybird. They make these wireless headphones. This is the Jaybird Vista model, and uh, really great for durability, really great being waterproof. If you know me, I run on mountain ultra trails and the roads out here in snowy conditions, rainy conditions, sunny and hot conditions in the mountains, on the trails, on the bike paths, and it's really important that I have a durable, rugged type of wireless headphones to jam out to my favorite tunes and music. I found that it's really motivating to get through those hard workouts, to push up those hills, and to really stay focused on your tempo and your training. So the Jaybird Vista headphones are really easy to set up. I just pulled them out of the box, synced them up to the Bluetooth on my phone, and could instantly start listening to high quality music. Uh, it's got a great fit. There's adjustable pieces that come with the headphones. So uh, they fit really well, feel very secure when I'm out on the run. So if you're doing an indoor gym workout, or you're running out on the mountain trails, or out on the roads or track, uh, they're not going to go anywhere and that's something I really value in headphone design uh, the ergonomics of it and being lightweight and so durable being resistant to all the sweat and rain and snow then sleet that you might be running through windproof stuff like that is very important to me. The Jaybird Vista headphones have a really long battery life. And like I mentioned, they're sweat proof, rain, snow proof. Uh, and even if you like accidentally drop them, I'm clumsy with my hands sometimes, uh, they're very durable uh, hitting the ground. So, uh, what I look for in a headphone and awesome audio quality as well. So you could check out the Jaybird Vistas in the description below. I got a link there uh, for this product. And again, thanks to them for sponsoring this video. And full disclaimer, I did get these headphones. They sent them to me to review and test out, but a really cool product. And I don't know about you, but the music really helps motivate me into these types of 5K to half marathon workouts. And so we're gonna talk about these workouts and give you some examples of my top three workouts if you're transitioning up to a distance like the half marathon, what we found to be very effective in your training cycle and something you could really mix up to build up your speed and stamina as well as your endurance. All right, so let's get into the training talk. My top three workouts for transitioning from the 5K up to the half marathon. All right, so the first workout uh, that you could experiment with when you're doing transitioning from the 5K up to the half marathon is doing what we call a tempo run. And a good barometer is a 20 minute tempo run. So to do this workout, you'd basically warm up an easy jog or walk five to 10 minutes, maybe some light stretching, and then you would go into a 20 minute run that's gonna be at about 80 to 85% maximum effort, maximum perceived effort. If you have a heart rate monitor, maybe it's around 85 to 88% of your maximum heart rate, but it should be a solid, uh, slightly uncomfortable effort that you could kind of get a groove in. So it's faster than maybe your goal half marathon pace, but it's a, definitely a steady effort. It's an effort where if you can not carry on a conversation with someone, you actually might be breathing hard enough that it's hard to talk, but you're getting motivated by jamming out to your favorite tunes and powering through that, uh, the fatigue in the workout that slowly builds up. But it's not an all out workout. It's not a 20 minute race. It's not like doing an all out 5K. It's controlled training. So that's why we call it a tempo run threshold workout. The second workout or types of runs that we'd recommend to really build your strength uh, not just in your leg muscles, but in your heart and lungs and your breathing stamina is to add in hills to your running. So maybe you're out and you start doing some trails. Uh, you don't have to run up a mountain necessarily, but you might put your treadmill on incline or you might do something like short, high intensity hill repeats. Now you do have to be careful when you add these into your training uh, and it's not something you would do more than once a week, but you wanna slowly start maybe with something like 20 or 30 seconds 
at a pretty fast pace, much harder than 5K intensity, uh, up a fairly steep hill. I would recommend starting at about 5% gradient. You don't want to start too steep because you could strain a calf muscle and it might take your muscles a little bit of time to adjust to this type of workout. But you give yourself a couple minutes rest, walk down, recovery jog, uh, in between these repetitions. So to start with 20 or 30 seconds, you could move up then to maybe even one minute hill repeats. And then you repeat that cycle maybe six or eight or even 10 times. It's a great way to get in a really effective workout. The third workout that you could add in uh, to your training plan that really gives you that stamina and endurance and spending time on feet, maybe listening to a lot of your favorite music, uh, is doing more of a long run. And it doesn't have to be a super long effort. You don't have to go out and run the full half marathon distance necessarily, depending on your weekly mileage total. But it might be a run that you do once a week where you go quite a bit farther than you would normally go. And maybe if you're out on the trails exploring, it, you don't cover a certain distance, uh, but it, you spend a long time on your feet. You might even spend as much as you would if you were trying to run your first half marathon. So you're just having fun, spending a lot of time on your feet, lengthening that single long run up. And depending on your weekly mileage, this could be 20 or even 30% of your total weekly volume all condensed into one day. And adding in these longer runs really helps build up the cardiovascular system and really helps you mentally with the stamina that you're gonna need to push through that full 13.1 miles with that half marathon distance. So those are my three really effective workouts that you could add in to your training schedule. And again, you wouldn't do maybe more than two of these per week. Most of your mileage, most of your days are gonna be conversational pace where you could relax more, focus on good form, uh, focus on getting your mileage in without having to worry about pushing super hard every day. You want to have a lot of easy days and aerobic base miles built into your training cycle as well. So those are my three top three workouts uh, in this training talk. And uh, yeah, hope you're getting motivated out there to run beautiful weather, beautiful days. If not working out, maybe inside in the gym, whatever you could do to get fit and to stay motivated. All right, so thanks for watching this video sponsored by Jaybird. And again, check out the Jaybird Vista headphones link in the description below. Thanks to them. Thanks for subscribing on here and liking this video. Hope you're doing well and stay tuned for more VO2 Max Productions.